So maca is actually related to the radish family. It grows just below the surface of the soil. So we're here on our farm. How do we identify our maca? Because it doesn't really stand out. It sits really low to the, the surface of the ground. And this is a mechanism to protect it from the high winds up here. You can see these rosettas on top. So we get used to recognizing these. And when we see a good rosetta, we troll underneath, wedge the root up. And there you go, look at that. That's a beautiful yellow maca. You've got the tap root on the bottom and the rosettas on the top. So Sully, you can explain the different colors and then what, what are we going to do with our maca next? So here we have a beautiful three colors of maca. The yellow, that is the general one, the red and the black one that we consider is very sacred. Um, those are really big because they get all the mineral content and they have a lot of medicine. But we don't eat in a raw form, so no fresh, uh, in, no in a fresh form. So what we do is just let it dry in the sun for three months to create all the beautiful and the medicinal benefits of maca.